Yo, what is up YouTube? My name's Aaron, and today we're going to be talking about the Season Pass. So as you know, yesterday, Awakening DLC came out for the PlayStation 4, and some of you guys have questions about the Season Pass now. What does that mean if you have yet to purchase the Season Pass? If you were holding off to see what the first DLC was like, and now you want it. So... First off, the number one question I get asked is since the first DLC already came out, if I bought the Season Pass today, like right now, will I get DLC 1 or do I still have to pay for that? And the answer is yes, you will get DLC 1 for free. And whenever I say for free, uh, a lot of you guys are like, no, you don't really get it for free. That's kind of confusing. If I said, yeah, you're going to get the Season Pass, but then you don't get the maps for free, that kind of sounds like you don't get the maps for free at all, which you're technically, if you want to look at it, technically, yes, you're upfront buying all of the Season Pass or all the DLCs, and then once they come out, you just get them. You've already purchased them before, but without logic involved, let's just think about you buy this, you put it out of the way, and now every single DLC is free. So yes, you will get DLC 1 for free. Free cost to you. If you already have the season pass or if you decide to go out by the past season pass today or eight months from now, honestly, it doesn't matter if the if Call of Duty goes two is out, you will get to keep the maps that you or you'll get to keep them. You know, they never go away. That's another thing we're going to talk about, but you can still get the maps like you'll be able to download them and they'll be free forever as long as you have the season pass. So next up, kind of already spoiled it, but yes. You do get to keep the maps. A lot of people are under the impression that you only get them for a month or something like that. No. Each DLC comes out and you can still play it. And to put this in perspective, I could still go back and play DLC on Black Ops 1 right now. I can still download it. Uh, I could have a brand new Xbox 360 and still be able to download those uh, map packs because I have the season pass, or I had the season pass, but it still stays on the console. Same thing with Black Ops 2, and nothing has changed here in Black Ops 3. So you do get to keep the maps forever. They never go away unless you delete your account and then maybe the other accounts on your Xbox or PlayStation 4 will still be able to use them, but once you delete those accounts and the consoles reset, then no, those maps do not exist anymore. And as long as you haven't deleted your account, like permanently erased it off the face of the web, uh, you still have them. No matter what, you get to keep them. It's not like you're just renting maps. No, you're getting them. They're yours. It's just DLC, digitally DLC, digitally loaded con. Oh my gosh, downloadable content digitally. It's downloadable content. I can't believe I messed that up. Uh, almost reset over that. Reset this video over that, but we got it out. But no, it's digitally on your Xbox. You don't get a physical thing. It's digitally there. You're always going to have it. Uh, downloadable content. You download it, and it stays there forever. So yes, it since Awakening came out yesterday. You can go and get a season pass. You'll be able to get Awakening and the Giant. You do not get Nuketown and you do not get camos for having the season pass. All you get are all four of the DLC map packs as in DLC 1 is called Awakening. DLC 2 could be called um, Night and then Day and then Night again. I don't know. But yes, you will get to keep those maps for Ever. And you can get all map packs. So in total, you should theoretically have 16 multiplayer maps and four zombie ma or five zombie maps additional to Shadows of Evil, if you did not know that. So hopefully that cleared everything up about the Season Pass. Can't really think of anything else right now, honestly. Um, season Pass, Season Pass. Uh, if you buy it from GameStop, you will get um, a, a receipt or something. You'll have um, all kinds of things. You'll get a receipt. You'll see the numbers and some letters down on the bottom, whatever the code is. And then you get to um, you get that. You type it in your console, and there you go. You don't throw away the receipt. You don't get anything physical. It's not another disc you have to stick in. And no, the Season Pass is not the game. You have to have the game then you can get the season pass or you could get the season pass and not have the game but you can't play anything on it because you don't have the game like you can't just get the season pass have the map somehow and not have the game you gotta have the game as a base 
or a console, then the game, then the DLC. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you haven't already, go out and purchase yourself the Season Pass or just get Awakening. All is cool in my book. All the maps will come to you. You will get them. All is good and well. Downloadable content, not digitally locked. I honestly, I drew a blank. I don't know. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Aaron. Peace. I will see you tomorrow with some brand new videos.